Hey, uh, Greg, can you just describe the, the emotion and the frustration from yesterday's loss? Uh, I mean, you know, it sucks losing to a team eight times or whatever in the regular season, you know. Uh, I haven't really been on the bad side of a rivalry in my life, so it's a little – it's tough for sure. And, you know, we just – we got to move forward to the next game. You can't sit and dwell on something like that. How deflating was it to not get that fumble yesterday when it became 17-14? It kind of seemed like it unraveled after that. You said what? That uh, forced fumble that uh, you guys had a McCaffrey that you guys couldn't pick up. It seemed like after oh, that, man. they scored. And it couldn't really uh, turn it around after that. I mean, missing turnovers is always tough. Like, dropped interceptions hurt. Uh, and, yeah, like, missed fumbles like that when it bounces right to their team is just it's a little heartbreaking. But, you know, we just got to move on to the next play. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. Gary. Hey, Greg. Um, what, do you, what do you think you guys need to do to kind of get on a consistent winning track over the next 10 games? I mean, honestly, we just got to improve on like the small things like missed tackles, I think, is a big one. Um, I think we need to get the quarterback a little bit more, get a little more pressure on the quarterback. But, I mean, I think it's really just the small – like little details we got to clean up, you know, I feel like we're playing pretty good game, but it's just these little tiny mistakes are really hurting us. So I think that's going to be a huge deal. And in terms of uh, playing at Tampa, you guys have done that a couple of times of last, you know, in a dramatic game in the playoffs. What, what, what are your memories of uh, playing there last time? And how do you think that bodes for you guys heading, heading there this week? Um, I mean, memories from the, from previous Tampa games. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I always have fun playing them. I feel like it's always a good matchup. Uh, they got a solid old line. It's always fun going against them. Bunch of good guys. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. Gilbert. Yeah, hey, uh, Greg. I just want to get you know more on, on the mood of the locker room because you guys are not used to you know being three and four. You won you won the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, I guess you know being around this team for a while. Do you take it upon yourself to talk to guys, check their mindset, making sure that the urgency is still there? Yeah, I mean, I try and be like a leader where I can and see how guys are doing and make sure. Really, the, I think the biggest thing is just keeping everybody on the right track. You know, like like this is a huge season. There's a long season. You know, we've only lost four games. Uh, and turn things around. We still have plenty of time, plenty of games left. Um, so it's just getting everybody to like, just kind of put that stuff behind us and keep moving forward, you know? I think that's kind of the mindset that we all have is like, we just got to keep focusing on what's ahead, focus on the next game. Like if we just, cause if we start winning from here on out, we can go to the Super Bowl again, you know, it's just, it's, it's all like, we still got plenty of time. Were you, were you at all a little disappointed that a lot of the players lost their composure, you know, in that fourth quarter, you know, or do you think maybe like the history started creeping into people's minds about, you know, losing to this 49ers team? Uh, probably a little bit, you know, there's a little history there for sure. We play those guys two, three times a year and we're both, you know, they're a really physical outfit. And whenever you get two really physical teams going against each other, there's just that little bit of tension for sure, because you're just, everyone's trying their hardest and, you win some, you lose some, you get mad, like they get mad, you know, it's just, it's uh, definitely a interesting dynamic out there. <laughs> gotcha, Greg. Thank you for the time. Yeah. And we'll wrap up with Jordan. Super opt off topic, uh, Greg, but Michael Hoyt declaring as an eligible tight end and laying a block off the edge. What do you make of that? It was super cool. We heard about that earlier this week that he's going to do some tight end stuff. And uh, he almost missed his block. So we were a little, uh, we were all watching on the sideline. And I, th I thought he whiffed the block, but he managed to just stop him just enough. And we were all, we were all excited that he, he didn't, his guy didn't make the tackle at least. Yeah, <laughs> at least. Yeah. W what do you say to him when he comes back? I told him he almost missed. <laughs> it's like, don't screw up, man. Come on. This is your one op. He's like, I was just trying to kill him. And I was like, Dude, your goal should be to get in his way first. <laughs> Don't let him make the tackle. But yeah. Thank you, Greg. Funny guy.